Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another video. This one here, going back to the NECAs. Here we are with the Predator 2 City Hunter, Young Blood, you know, fallen member of the Lost Tribe, however you want to call it, the one that Danny Glover killed, whoever you want to call him. This is the review of City Hunter. This is one of my favorites, actually. Um, this one has a special place for me. Um, growing up, this was actually the first Predator movie that I actually really enjoyed, Predator 2. I didn't really have much of a... Um, I mean, I was a kid, you know, uh, I don't know. There was just something about it, the, the design of it, you know, and you actually get to see more of this Predator, or at least that's how it seemed when I was a kid. Um, show you a little bit of box art here. You can kind of see. One thing that I did notice, though, and I don't know if it's the lighting, but this on the back of it almost looks brighter, like it's almost like bronze. But then when you actually look at the City Hunter themselves, it's definitely like a darker rust color. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, but <clears throat> with that being said, I'm going to get right into it. I want to get right into it because you guys seem to really like the short videos. So we'll keep up with tradition. This box is probably going to fall. Um, I've already taken everything out. Um, I did notice... Here's the box art on the inside. I did notice that I did forget one key accessory but i will show that in the picture at the end of my video i always show a, a pose um i forgot the skull and spine that is what i forgot i forgot the skull and spine um why how i have no idea um i know i've got it on the display at home i'm actually shooting at a different location just because my house is chaotic i have a one-year-old german shepherd and he is absolutely bonkers. I mean, just all over the place. So there's no way that I can quietly shoot a video at where my accessory is. But like I said, you guys will see that at the end of the video. Now, that being said, let's jump right into it. <clears throat> this is what we got. This right here is the City Hunter from Predator 2. You got a lot of cool accessories that come with this one. That, of course, is the helmeted head. This right here is the unhelmeted head. Now, they did not include a rebreather in this one. Um, you see that in Predator 2. Now, the battle damaged Predator 2 City Hunter actually does include that. But this version does not. This is These are the only two heads you get. You get the unmasked and you get the mast. But that's really all you need. This right here, this is the shield, or excuse me, the net gun. You see him actually use this, um, I believe it's once or twice in the movie. You actually have a special hand for it. This right here, which is a very interesting way to fire, but let's see if I can get that to zoom in here, or get that to uh, just kind of focus a little bit so you can kind of see the details on the hand. It doesn't look like it's wanting to focus. Why it's, ah, there we go. So you can kind of see the details on that hand. You can kind of see the paint job. Really, really, really super cool. But this actually goes in just like this. Um, and then this thumb, you just kind of want to push that over to the you know, to the uh, one side, uh, or I guess to one side, should I say, of the trigger or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, let's see if we can get that to focus here. Just kind of show you so you can get an idea of how that goes on. Um, yeah, there we go. See how that uh, thumb kind of goes on that one side there? That's the only way I found to keep that on. Um, Another cool thing, if you don't want to have him firing this, um, you see that there is, it looks like a little Tetris block there. This actually can go on the side as kind of like a holster at the bottom of the leg here. And then bam, there you go. You got your net gun. Locked, cocked, ready to rock. Another cool 
thing that this comes with is your combi stick. This is your sheathed version of the combi stick here. You can kind of see the details in that. This is your unsheathed version. Now, the only thing that I've noticed, and I've got a lot of these Predator NECAs that, um, that come with the combi stick. Every single one that I have is really almost bent, or, or really just kind of bent. And, you know, I don't know, you know, it, it probably just depends on how long the, the figure itself has been on the shelf. Um, you know, it can be bent back, but, you know, it's really, it's really kind of stuck in that way. I've debated about taking like a heat gun and maybe straightening that out, but that is something to look for um, if you get a Predator NECA that comes with a combi stick um, like this. It, just be prepared. Uh, some of them, you know, they do have a tendency to bend. I mean, there's not a lot, you know, there's not a lot of, um, it's not very rigid. So, you know, this, this can bend. I'm afraid to bend it too much. That's why I'm thinking maybe a heat gun or something, you know, just kind of straighten that out just a little bit. You do get a few hands. You do get a few hands with this uh, figure. This right here is really cool if you want to maybe hold on to the skull and spine. This is how it would kind of sit in there. Again, I apologize for not having that. I will show off a couple of pictures of this um, just to kind of make up for that. This right here is the, this is the other hand. It goes on your right. <laughs> You know, you can just kind of put that on there. Um, that's really about it as far as hands. This right here is your wrist launcher. You can't really... It's really hard to see. Um, just because it's such a small item. Um, but this is the... My hands are sweating. This is the wrist launcher. Now, you see him use that a couple of times in the movie at least once. What this does... It actually took me a little. It actually took me a little bit to find this, but if you look right here, this actually pops right off, and then you can replace that. This was the, I guess the uh, ready to fire version. How it just kind of sits up above the wrist. This one, you'll just take it and you just kind of line that up, and then bam, you just put that in there, and there you go, just like that. One con though. And we'll get into the actual figure here in a second. But one of the cons that I, I, I don't like about this particular figure, and I do want to show this off, this is cool um, in itself. The, well, there it is. You see what I'm talking about? That That is the one thing that I do not like about this. The little, the, um, well, there's actually a two-parter to this uh, that's really cool too. You can kind of see the, uh, Kind of see what's going on there. Looks like the uh, detonator um, for the wrist computer. Um, but there's a two-parter. One being, this falls off super easily. And eventually it got to the point where I actually just took that off and just left it alone. Because you don't really notice it. Um, with a keen eye, you kind of do. I know it's there, but you know, or I know it's not there. But it does keep does help you to keep from losing that, um, which I pretty much just did there. There we go. Um, that is one thing that I don't like. Another thing that I don't like is the fact that it almost opens backwards. Because, you know, in every Predator movie, it always opens this way. Not this way, but this way. And with this, it opens up the other way. And I just don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I think I know why they did it because of that wrist launcher, but it just, it seems off-putting. I'm just going to leave that off. That is, that is definitely a big con for this figure. You know, if you don't care to, you know, have it open or not, you know, you can kind of glue it down, but that is probably the biggest negative on this figure that I have. The rest of it is really, I mean, I really don't have a problem with it. You do come with this little blaster here, this little, um, I don't know what you would call it, like a blast flash, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. That just kind of hooks on to the shoulder cannon, kind of makes it look like it fires, you know, it's really cool. One of the things that I do love about NECA's on some of them, now I've noticed that this is not the case on all of them, you got your wrist 
gauntlet that extends and, you know, just extends. <laughs> um, of course, you can push it back in there, but, you know, you can extend it. Um, one of the cool things, the throwing disc actually is holstered in here by a holster. Look at that just pops right in there and just holds in and it actually shows you how it goes in there. One of the things though that I've noticed, one of the things um, that I, another one of the things that I don't like about it is it's sometimes hard, sometimes hard to get this back into the holster to sit. Uh, of course, I make myself a liar out of these videos, but sometimes it is. Um, if you leave one in there, it's not that bad. Um, it does kind of stretch that holster out a little bit, but if you're just first putting it in there, it can be a little tough. If you've got fingernails, it helps because you can kind of pull that lip back just a little bit and just kind of you know, work your way around, but it is a little difficult to get into. Details. Details are really good on this one. You can see, I mean, you can see his abs here. I mean, you can just kind of see the detail that has gone into it. This right here kind of moves. You've got his satchels here. Um, one of the things that I did notice as well is that this right here likes to kind of get caught into that little swivel. So it can be a little difficult to get that back out and to sit properly, but it is doable. Switching around to the back, I do want to point this out. If you look right here, this is really cool. You actually have a, bam, a little holster for the combi stick, for the sheathed combi stick. And so, bam, ready to go. You've got everything right there. I mean, you've got his dent gun, you've got the smart disc, shoulder cannon, bam. You've got your combi stick on the wrist. Boom, got your wrist launcher. I mean, he is ready to go, 100% ready to go. I absolutely love this figure. This is, like I said, this one has a very special place in my heart just because Predator 2 is what I started out liking. And of course, my love just kind of spilled over for the rest of them. And I have a love for any and all Predator. Um, but this one was the one, this was actually the first Predator neck, or excuse me, neck of Predator, Predator neck, whatever you want to call it. This was actually the first Predator figure that I had bought from NECA um, that really kind of started it all. I got this one and I really loved it. The second one that I bought was a Xenomorph. I said to myself, you know, if you're going to have a Predator, you might as well have a Xenomorph. So Xenomorph came second. I think Jason came third. And then I think Freddy Krueger might have came after that. I'm not totally sure, but... Eventually, you guys stick with me. You're going to see my whole collection. Uh, I love NECA figures, and to be honest, I just love talking about them. But I'm going to keep the video short. You guys seem to really appreciate the smaller length videos. If you guys want to see more in-depth videos, I don't care to do them. Niche marketing, I know. But one more thing before I call it. I do want to announce, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but I did do a giveaway on a couple of items. Um, the First off, the Alpha Predator code for Predator Concrete Jungle. Um, I don't know why I said jungle. <laughs> Predator Concrete Jungle. Um, the winner for that one is a Brandon Turner. I believe I said that name right. Um... <laughs> He won that, uh, and Paula Reif, I believe. Riff? Is it Reif? Rifle? I don't know. Cool name, though. Um, that is actually the winner of the Leonard Toys Walmart exclusive Predator 2. So I'm going to get in touch with those two guys. Um, I'm going to hopefully get those out to you when I get the chance. Be on the lookout, though. Um, there may be more giveaways in the future. Uh, probably jump the gun a little bit, you know, too much on the um, on the giveaways there, uh, especially when you only have like two views for per video. Am I right? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, that's gonna be it for this video. Congratulations to the winners. 
and be on the lookout because guess what? The next video is going to be the comparison video. I'm going to be comparing the Walmart exclusive with a NECA figure. You're going to see the difference in those two. You're going to see what's really, you know, what makes a collectible a collectible and what makes a toy a toy. I'm really excited to do that one and I cannot wait to show you guys. But until next time, I will see you guys around.